Okay. All right, I'm going to do my version of this Miss Lippy's recipe right here. I've been wanting to do this ever since I watched her video. It looks so good. So, here we go. Okay, so I'm just doing shrimp and crawfish in the marinade because my wife doesn't like shrimp. So I'm doing it two different ways. So we'll marinate the shrimp. And I made my own seasoning. I know Lippy says that she uses some kind of seasoning that she makes, that she sells, I believe. But I just made my own. And I like making my own seasonings for everything. Actually, I make my own seasonings and then I make my seasoning blends. That's what I like to do. So, these were crawfish that were already boiled, but I'm going to go ahead and do the same way that she said with the shrimp. I think it'll come out good. Alright, since I'm doing two of them with crawfish and shrimp, I'm doing two pots. And I just grated Parmesan cheese from blocks. So I'm going to put that away. And put my pinna on. Alright, get the shrimp going. And uh, the pinna is in the pot. And I put aside the pasta war. I'll say it like that because when I was watching Miss Lippy's uh, video, her accent even though I'm from Louisiana I still didn't I had to ask my wife what is she saying and she told me it's pasta water and then I was like oh and then Melissa didn't say it again <laughs> so anyway got the pasta water on reserve and the shrimp are being done now I'm gonna go ahead and put the crawfish in that we wanted <laughs> Crawfish already cooked. They were in a boil, so I'm just basically warming them back up, and they in the same marinade that the shrimp were in. And they have a wonderful smell. So there we go. Have to get two bowls. So I don't know. All right, I got the uh, shrimp and the crawfish out, and I put some more butter in there and let it melt down. So at this point, this is where I'm going to differ in my recipe just a hair. I'm going to put a little white wine and reduce that down in each one. Had fire, I could make it flambeau. All right, I need to turn down the flame. Remember what she said, and then hit the creek and turn it down a bit. I'm gonna let it get down a bit before I add it. Let it cool down. Pepper. 
Just a little bit of sea salt. brought it back up to heat after the heavy cream was folded in, or not folded in, but put in. A bit more heat. Alright, going to do a little bit of the cheese. the water to each one. Oh shoot, I'm pouring too fast. I would be remiss if I didn't add a dash of hot sauce. I'm just going to add a dash of this Louisiana hot. Smell good.
All right, this just came back up. I shut them all. I put half a cup of pasta water in each one of this, one of these. So I'm gonna pour the crawfish one in. Woo, that's hot. Fish one in there. I'm gonna put a shrimp one in the other pot. And put some more Parmesan cheese in there. She said it'll thicken up, which I think it will. We also did make garlic bread and regular toasted bread to go with this. So that's the crawfish one. I gotta say the crawfish one to me smells better. say grace and then we'll tell you how to take it. Low light here so mm. oh, I already know that's good. That's perfect. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Good recipe. How's the crawfish one man? You tasted it? Alright y'all, um, I, I already did this, uh, I, I cooked Miss Lippy's uh, shrimp and pasta recipe, so I want y'all to go ahead and take a look at my, uh, at my, at my way of doing it, and uh, it's basically her recipe, she gave me the idea, and when I was, uh, <laughs> when I was cooking it, my wife, who cooks more of the pasta dishes in the house it says it's a it's an alfredo dish and i didn't even think of it i was like you know it kind of is and it is and uh anyway i i took her idea miss lippy thank you for that idea it has a great uh great recipe like both of them for crawfish and shrimp came out awesome we ate it up we ate the, the last of it was eating last night but i want y'all to go ahead and check these recipes out how i did it's a just like a little nod of the head to miss lippy for her wonderful recipe and uh you know i tell everybody go ahead and try you know <clears throat> you ought to you ought to cook it with something i mean i'd even be willing to cook it with chicken if you don't have the seafood it, it was yummy all right y'all